2022 must reads. These five books are life altering. Welcome to Savvy, where we have lots of practical wisdom to share. Hey, don't forget to hit that like button below. And while you're at it, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more advice here at Savvy. If a man does not read, then he has no advantage over the man who can't read. This is a quote from a well-known author, Mark Twain. In today's video, we're going to count down a short list of books full of wisdom. Make sure to stay with us till the end. You're going to love the last one. Fifth of the list is Atomic Habits by James Clare. If you want to start a change that is formidable inside you, read this book. It has evidence-based strategies that will help guide you in building habits from within yourself so it will reflect on your actions eventually. To quote the book, goals are good for setting a direction, but systems are best for making progress. It's serious in pointing out that you have to be able to make your habits a part of your identity so that no matter what happens, your habit stays with just how your identity is literally the core of who you are. As an example, let's say John wants to break his habit of being a smoker. In order to do that, he has to make tiny changes in his behavior to get to that goal. He won't achieve it overnight. How should he do that according to this book? Well, he should make it his identity first to be a willing non-smoker before he can even ditch the first cigarette and not the other way around. Have a heart-to-heart -heart meeting with yourself first before resorting to making the first concrete step. In the view of some of the book's readers, John has to think of it like an election, an election where the competing candidates are the smoker John versus the non-smoker John two identities upon which the real John will have to cast votes to every day. If John walks by a convenience store and sees a pack of his favorite cigarettes, which vote should he cast? To buy the cigarette pack would be to cast a vote to his smoker identity, while buying food instead or not buying at all would be to cast a vote to the non-smoker identity he's trying to become. At the end of the day, which candidate has the winning number of votes? Ask yourself that every day. The fourth book are actually two books because they talk about almost the same thing but in different tones and bases. And they are The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck by Mark Manson and Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself by Joe Dispenza. The former one is a light read with lots of f-bum thrown in and talks about the wisdom to really care about the things that are important to you and the importance of focusing on your own growth and progress without giving much care there is or the world might say the book also talks about paradoxes in life which are agreeably true if looked into more deeply for example this quote the desire for more positive experience is itself a negative experience and paradoxically the acceptance of one's negative experience is itself a positive experience the latter book of the two by joe dispenza is about building good habits one step at a time but his works rely heavily on scientific and spiritual basis and more specifically on meditation lots of readers who aren't fans of meditations have found this book eye-opening, so go ahead and give it a try. Quoting from the book, To sum up the meditative process, you have to break the habit of being yourself and reinvent a new self. The third book in our list is I Will Teach You To Be Rich by Remit Sethi. In this world where money is undoubtedly needed to operate smoothly and to live without much worries, this book will remind you of how handling your finances is just important as having some finances in the first place. As a finance expert, Remit emphasizes that having a few dollars 
saved on your account is better than having millions that are spent down to its cents. It's important to have saved finances rather than spend thousands mindlessly and have zero savings at all. Taken from the book is a story from Remit himself. My friend Jim once called to tell me that he'd gotten a raise at work. On the same day, he moved into a smaller apartment. Why? Because he doesn't care very much about where he lives. But he loves spending money on camping and biking. That's called conscious spending. What about you? Maybe it's time to check your conscious spending and assess if it's really conscious spending. The second book is The Happiness Hypothesis by Jonathan Haidt. The wisdom of this book may be counterintuitive, but it does get the message across. You may think you want complete freedom, but in reality, it's not that good. By complete freedom, what the book means is the idea we have in our heads of a future time where we can do whatever we want, whenever we want. What a dream, right? Wrong. That's an ideal setting, but this is the real world. In the real world, we need responsibilities to hinge us into action. To put it in a situation, let's say Jane has the resources to have a complete freedom. But as this world took a toll on her and made her boredom rise to critical levels, she might just lose the excitement of life. But if Jane has limited sources with a baby on the way, she would keep living and keep finding ways to earn with a limited time between work and life to sustain her baby and herself. It may not look ideal, but it does fuel life. And remember that the hard part of that scenario won't last forever. By the time Jane is on the verge of burnout, she may already have a toddler who keeps her life source glow and happiness level stays constant. The key takeaway from this book is that limited time can wake you up and living for others does make you happy. Lastly, the best book you could ever read is book number one, Your Own Personal Journal. You heard it right. You can write your personal journey and progress and collect them over the years. Rereading them will grant you an awakening you'd never even imagine having from other books. There's nothing like being a witness to your own life to teach you valuable wisdom. Write down what you have learned and reflect on how you can use them in life. So get those notebooks out and grab that pen. Start writing your own biography or diary. See how it helps. Well, that is enough practical wisdom for today. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up below. We will be posting 4 to 5 videos per week. So click that subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified of our new videos weekly. Thanks everyone and see you in the next video. Ciao! ciao.